Hello folks, this is actually a little bit of a reshoot. Uh, I shot this video a few days ago, but when I came back to look at the uh, footage, unfortunately, my brilliant GoPro decided not to record any audio. Unfortunately, it's a little bit more windy today, so if we do get a bit of wind noise and stuff in this one, apologies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the Grey Goose. And it has been quite some time uh, before, uh, quite some time since you have seen the Grey Goose. And uh, she's just about to uh, go on the, ro the road and join the fleet full time. Uh, so let's go have a look and we'll talk you through some of what's going on. So, welcome to the Grey Goose. For those of you that might uh, be just joining us, the Grey Goose is a 2003 uh, BMW E46 Touring, which is a 3 Series. This particular specimen uh, was a 320, a 2.2 litre uh, M54 petrol engine and a manual gearbox, and the engine was dead, thanks to head gasket failure. So, we have transplanted in our Nissan Leaf motor and inverter uh, in there and uh, we did get the car driving around uh, quite some time ago now but just due to a myriad of circumstances uh, I didn't really get into it to finish it off. So uh, quite a lot of changes going on with me at the minute so I've got to get some of these cars on the road ASAP. To that end, uh, we have been working away on the goose the past uh, week or so now. It has been a reasonably fine weather for Ireland, i.e. not pouring rain. So, got our leaf inverter there, which is being controlled by the VCU in the, uh, the e-box. Got to tidy up a little bit of that wiring still in there. Um... Got to think of a better name for this thing, but it's currently called the Zombie Verter uh, VCU. Uh, so we're testing it out in the E46 here for integration with the car and with controlling uh, the leaf inverter. Um, in the middle, high voltage junction box. And right up front here with a M3 badge just to ease the transition for Elon to the BMW world is a Tesla Model 3 PCS which is basically a combination of a 10 kilowatt charger and a DC to DC converter. So I've had this kind of sitting in here for some time now but we've now got it fully wired in so we've got our high current 12 volt line, control lines, uh, high voltage DC and over here uh, we have AC uh, mains coming in. This is a US variant, very kindly donated to me a good while ago now by a supporter on Patreon. And we know that it's the US version uh, because it's just got two AC wires here for the uh, US 240 volt uh, split phase system. Uh, but it will work perfectly fine here on 230 volts uh, single phase albeit um, it's going to draw nearly 50 amps uh, from that single phase supply when it is going full tilt. So up here uh, we've temporarily fitted the PCS controller. This is a prototype at the minute so that's fully wired into the PCS and uh, it's getting power and can over here from the VCU in the e-box. So my next task now is to start writing some software for this guy so that we can attempt to control the PCS. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, that has not been done. Um, if it has been done, I guess the people who have, to, who have done it haven't bothered sharing. I have a little info on the can, but uh, 
certainly not enough to just plug and play as they like to say so we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a struggle with this there's no doubt about it uh, but it's just one of those things that I got just gotta get done so pretty soon hopefully you'll be seeing some videos where we're struggling away with the the uh, with getting the PCS up and running um, Underneath all that then we have our front battery box uh, which has four of the uh, Renault Zoe modules in there. Um, so looking along the car inside it's actually fairly decent. This has the sports seats um, which I am a big fan of. have those in the E39 and they're heated. Mm. So I've got to give the inside a bit of a clean out but... Uh, main thing that you folks will be interested in now will be around the, around the tail end. So, in here is where we have the rem remainder of our Zoe modules. So we have six up here bolted down to this 12mm aluminium plate. And there is a further two of them underneath the plate in what used to be the spare wheel well. Uh, over here we have our mid-pack contactor, it basically splits the battery in the, mi the middle uh, for safety purposes. A um, lot of wiring and conduit and stuff that needs to be cable tied up and we will be putting a false floor in here with some uh, plywood and carpet so you won't see any of this stuff fairly soon. And also we'll have some load carrying ability here in the vehicle, uh, which will be quite neat. Over here, um, 12 volt battery. And this box here in the middle is our contactor box for our DC fast charging. So over here in the old fuel filler, we have a CCS uh, DC charging a socket now when I posted about this on social media uh, some people were asking whether it's a Tesla one no it's not this is a cheap Aliexpress um, type 2 uh, CCS charging port and um, hopefully we'll be able to get the DC side of this wor working but it gives me AC uh, for the present time uh, to get my PCS uh, woken up. Um, so what we will be doing for CCS control, so I don't have it fitted here at the minute, but I'll show you in a second, is I have a BMW i3 LIM, which is the uh, basically the, I guess, the, the, the uh, charge port controller. They're very cheap. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to give us some DC fast charging. So just for those of you interested, I just grabbed the uh, LIM there. This is the uh, version that I picked up. Uh, this one does both AC and DC char charging. Um, it is CAN controlled, um, but it does a lot of the, you know, it does all the CCS comms and things. And it'll control the contactors in this box for us as well. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have any information on the CAN control messages uh, for this device. So if anyone has any info on that, uh, please do let us know. That would be much appreciated. Or even, uh, barring that, a CAN capture from the powertrain CAN of an i3 during charging uh, would be brilliant. So, uh, this is it folks, this is where we're at with the Goose at the minute. Uh, she's going to be going for a NCT test in the next couple of days, so wish me luck with that. And, uh, yeah, um... Got a little bit of rust to fix there as well, of course. But yeah, this is uh, where we're at. So this is, I guess, a whole lot of new stuff in this car. Like we've got the Leaf drivetrain, the Model 3 PCS, the Zombie Verter VCU, the BMW i3 uh, charging, the CCS, you know, all that. All of that good fun packed stuff. Um, so, 
I will leave you folks there. Uh, hopefully we have sound this time, which would be kind of neat. Um, as usual, don't forget to dislike, unshare, do not subscribe to this ridiculous channel. And uh, check out those links in the description. Uh, there are Patreon, PayPal, Open Inverter Forum and whatever else I can think to stick in there. And uh, I'm going to leave you folks there because i got to run now and start uh, writing some of my... Uh, some of my play school level uh, so software for this PCS controller to see if we can actually start to communicate with it. So, yes. Until next time then. Happy PCS controlling. <laughs>